So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. <laughs> there you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those I can't believe I still have this pencil case. She saw I should upgrade to the 21st right? century. And frankly, it's I haven't bullshit. kept up with my journal as much as I should. Keep that to yourself. I do, love my analog. I, could I do love my analog camera. And capture I should take a quick picture now. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max <laughs> has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. 
sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely Sorry, popular. Sorry, Max. From the no more film. selfies right now. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by... Look at this crap. Robert How can Williams? I show this to Mr. Jefferson? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Starting in a photo, so. You see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event. I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to this feel- This is ridiculous. So I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Jefferson. The photographic world is not for everybody. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Hi, Kate. Oh, hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pic. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us.
Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm so... This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh, man. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive... Mo Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. What? Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really... You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Always Welcome look to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. Like I feel like you have to have Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. Your she plays it so <laughs> sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. To all of you, American These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Imagine a world without you, American girl. There's Taylor, like always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Driving a car by the seaside. Watching the world from the bright side. That's Dana talking to... Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She's... I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. American girls in the movies No one can tell where you are Looks like she's been gone for months. American girls like Dolly. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped up. Good thing I left my AK I at home. I... Rachel Amber. She's so pretty. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. I, cry I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. Talking about her own place Somewhere around the mountains no Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But Otter, look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. That's when I fly. Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. OK. 
okay, girl. You don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did it. Can you give me I an actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time in machine. And white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Diane. don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. When I took my selfie, totally Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I I'll know this is for real. What kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you... I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after I class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's... Max, since you've captured our intro... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Wowzer, Max, my old broken camera is new again. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so... You see the dilemma? I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even th photography's future stars of I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel. You know I don't tease. I hate that science. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wowzer, so I need a hammer to break it open! To control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen! If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... Just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around. 
In the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Brooke actually has a drone. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. 
Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Warren's waiting for me and his flash drive in the parking lot, so I better get back to my dorm. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? He's aloof. He seems like he's always above you. Not like a snob, but like you don't know what's in his head. Maybe. Mr. Jefferson just has his own style. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of click but I heard insane stories about Rachel. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Okay. Why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way! You're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever. Clever. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? Not really, I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. Nope, he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. 
Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't even say anything. It's a bestseller. Yeah. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. Nice, bro. Oh, look. It's Max oh. Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, no. I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. None shall pass. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Awesome. Do you understand English? Sorry, no paparazzi allowed. something. I better rewind. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay. Okay, let's see if this works. Sweet. Okay. 
okay, Victoria? Oh, Sammy, I'm sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. Yeah. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, yeah. but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. Nice, I'll see you later. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club Victoria initiation? So Juliet, extreme reporter. Could be fun. Thanks for the warning. They live. This is like the public DNA of our dorm. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I... You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. Instant film is so damn hard to find and exp I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birth. Hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get a... Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this. Lauren makes me laugh. 
It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Cartier, Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Cartier Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. That's the only tourist picture I That was a good hockey game, man. Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, come, Juliet. This is so Hey, stupid. Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did you she do? Ridiculous. What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria Leave me did. alone, Max. Get a clue. Answer, you wuss. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. She's actually got a classic medium format camera. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase. No, officer, I'm not Snoop. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. They should call this series aloof, cold and soul.
Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry... Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. This isn't even recycled paper. Vic this better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care. Those boots are made for walking. Those boots are made for walking runways. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. This is both sad and pathetic. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Now I feel too wiped out to leave. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess.
this shit. Ow! Get I'm lost, hurt. hipster. Damn, I better rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit! So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping keep...